Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 19th, 2022. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to the Daily Do. Having a quick look at space weather first here, the last 48 hours on our sun, as we did see two M-class solar flares, a very fast-forming sunspot on the right-hand side, and as well, a large plasma filament eruption destabilization in the northern hemisphere looking at the last 48 hours incoming cresting sunspot has now come into view on the right and the left no other sunspots visible coming in outgoing we did have that large plasma filament yesterday and as well watch in the center frame there showing that sunspot region just formed out of nowhere and produced an M-class solar flare set to give us a glancing blow in the next couple days. Another closer look at that region and as well the plasma filament destabilization top left hand side you'll see that happen. You can see it more under another light. Having a look here at multi-spectrum At all of the last 48 hours of events, Earth-facing coronal hole in the southern hemisphere, M-class solar flare on the right, and a plasma filament destabilization in the northwest corner of our sun. So very active indeed, keeping humanity aware and prepared with space weather events as we are set to see a few in the next few days, especially with the coronal hole wind stream as that is set to increase our space weather. Already looking at R1 geomagnetic storms. So minor geomagnetic storms right now. One last look at our sun, 193 angstroms, blackened coronal hole, and as well, very active in the Northern Hemisphere. Having a look at LASCO 2 at the energies, taking off from our sun, pretty sizable solar flare there. In an outgoing position, but set to give us a glancing blow, according to the ISWA space prediction spiral. Looking at the solar X-ray flux, it remains in B range right now, calming down a little bit, as we did see two, well, one large C-class and one M-class geomagnetic activity sitting at KP2. R1 radio blackout impacts detected, low-frequency navigation signals may be disrupted. Real-time solar wind sitting at 327 kilometers per second, still awaiting the incoming coronal hole wind stream. Watch for our solar wind speeds to pick up and as well the pressure on our planet. Notable there, 19 for density bunches coming in. Looking at the ESWA space prediction spiral showing the large solar flare taking off from the sun. And it is set to give us a glancing blow into the 22nd, into the 23rd. And as well, another one taking off from the backside of the sun right here towards Bepi satellite. Schumann resonance for today, a low power of 7. Quick look at the streamlined telemetry today. Amplitude of 7, quality of 9.1, and a power of 9. Now let's get to earthquakes here the last 24 hours. We're going to start out in Fiji, Kermadec Islands, as we've seen some pretty deep earthquakes today. 4.2, Tokora, New Zealand, 257 kilometer depth. As well as 4.4, Lavuka, Fiji, 585 kilometer depth. And right in between that, 4.1 Kermadec Islands. Very eerily quiet across the Philippines plate. 5.0 earthquake here in Singaparna, Indonesia, 76 kilometer depth. Still seeing a lot of activity up into China. Quiet through Japan, but Shikatan, Russia, seeing a 4.3 and a 4.4. Kamchatsk, Starry, Russia, 5.1 and a 4.4. 4.2 there, Adrianov Islands, Aleutian Islands. And lots of minor activity picking up across Alaska as we had some sizable earthquakes here. The Beaufort Sea, 4.1, and 
And as well, a 4.5, Clyde River, Canada, Nunavut. Across the United States, off the shores here, coast of Oregon, 3.4. And largest through the region, a 4.0 there in Mentone, Texas. And as well, just recently, a 2.8 there in Oklahoma. Quiet through the Caribbean plate, largest being a 3.3 through the region. And then seeing activity coming back to South America, La Ligua, Chile, 4.3 to 4.6, as well up to Bolivia, 4.2. South Sandwich Islands seeing a 5.3 and a 5.1 there today. So we're still slightly above average, according to USGS. We're sitting at about 250 earthquakes across the planet. Quick glance here at the last seven days of earthquakes, as we've seen a lot of increased activity to Western Indonesia, up into through the Indian plate and through China. And as well, surprisingly, Southern parts of the North American plate as well, all the activity around Australia, deep earthquakes in Fiji. But still way too quiet there through Papua New Guinea, up into the Philippines. Heads up, stay aware and prepared. We're expecting something big. Now let's get to weather quickly. We're going to show you some windy models as we've got quite a wind event happening right now across Ontario, set to bring heavy snow squalls for the next few days off the shores of Huron and as well Erie and Ontario into the United States. That won't move away until our next storm system moves in. Quick look here at the Pacific and the Atlantic. Strong system heading into Alaska. And as well, a strong system building, as forecasted yesterday, heading through the Atlantic provinces of Canada. Set to bring more windy events through Ontario. And as well, we've got... A very vigorous system heading into the United Kingdom the next couple days and then another one and then this will head into the Mediterranean and affect a lot of Italy and eastward into Greece as it makes landfall there over Span Spain and France Ireland the United Kingdom very strong wind event heading your way Give you a quick look at temperatures here across North America as we are still a month away from winter. Seeing some dramatically cold temperatures dipping very far south already down into Texas below freezing and higher elevations across the Pacific Northwest seeing a lot of snow already. Still a month away from winter. Quick look at Europe and over Russia as the polar vortex is building and swirling around set to cool things down across Eastern Europe moving west. Thanks for watching today. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Bye bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.